Hello everyone, I hope you've had a great day so far and that you're doing well. For this video we'll be going through an unboxing of the Hargrade 12144 Demi Barding. And the Demi Barding is a mobile suit within the Mobile Suit Gundam The Witch from Mercury series. And this particular kit uh, was released by Banda, as they usually are, uh, this year. This year still being 2023. So I've had this come through from Hobby Link Japan uh, very recently, so I'll include a link to the Demi Barding in the description. Straight to the front of the box with a nice shot front and center of the Demi Barding. We're getting a lot of these Demi kits, and yes, I haven't built one, but I'm actually liking how they're just getting bulkier and bulkier. And I'm not fully across its backpack, but I still swear it gives me some weird Virtue and CeraVe vibes even though I'm pretty sure the backpack is not like a full-on mobile suit or anything. I also forgot the Raphael, but there we go. In fact, between this and the Gonvolva, it's a weird Tiaria flashback suit thing. Anyway, Demi Barty, that's what we're here for. Bottom of the box, I really do like how they do these little recreations of the front artwork with the actual kit itself, basically to help demonstrate some of the articulation that the kit will have. Also looks very very nice and detailed, which is both good and bad. Some quick shots of the Demi Barding, with its weapons equipped, uh, different weapon firing poses, action base, and a shot of the backpack. And yeah, you look at the backpack and it does kind of remind you of the Raphael as well. Granted that was a CeraVe too, which I would love to see a kit of one day, but maybe it's the 30th anniversary. Unpainted. Now... That's actually not too bad. Some of these grey areas I actually would have thought were unpainted, but they actually may be coloured plastic, which will be very cool. Front and rear of the Demi Barding. Um, I will not embarrass myself trying to pronounce the name. Oh, it's Choo Choo. Oh, Choo Choo had a Demi upgrade. Well, there you go. I, uh, yeah. I remember when I did the first unboxing of her kit. Yes, one day I'll build it. Which will make it. Okay, inside the box, which is pretty much stock standard. Runners, manual. Put them out of plastic. Time to get out of the, get it out of the plastic bags, and we can have a better look. And straight to the manual of the Demi Barding. So we've already seen this uh, particular artwork already. Uh, blurb about the Demi Barding, blurb about Choo Choo. If you get the kit, read at your own leisure. And this is also release number 23 of the line. So at the point of recording, I did actually record this after the Gunvolver, which is release number 24. So, yes. It's not that I can't count, I just really liked the gun revolver. Uh, back of the manual, line art as we're used to seeing, and then a breakdown of the various weapons and accessories, and the collar guard, which is fairly short, which actually isn't too bad, so we'll have some, I don't know, a bit of a yellow okra, uh, white, grey, and metallic green for sensors. But I do quite like the look, and yes, I'm still half expecting this to be some type of weird mobile suit addition, but Oh well. Standard parts list, we'll see those in a minute. Uh, they are pretty decent sized runners as well. And I actually was a bit scared that I felt that a runner was missing. In terms of the build, everything is pretty stock standard. And I've also just realized um, some of those gray parts on the shoulders are stickers. Am I surprised? Probably not. Otherwise, the build itself is pretty straightforward. But I do like how the Demi Barding does seem to have a bit more bulk to the general look of it, uh, without being too bulky. Head also reminds me of a... Is it a Virgo mobile suit from Gundam Wing? Anyway, uh, going through the backpack build, the accessories and things like that. So overall, it should be a very fun and solid build in a literal sense. So that was the manual. Come back to that later quick look at the sticker sheet so there will definitely be some color correcting stickers in there unfortunate but not unsurprising we'll also have lenses and things like that but overall it's still not too bad in terms of the 
number of stickers supplied. I've definitely seen worse. Multicolor A runner, gray and white, I believe. Good amount of panel lining opportunities here, which is always nice to see. So that was the A runner. Uh, jumping to the C runner, which is in more of a gray. So joints and attachment points, things like that. Now this is where things get really weird. Straight to E, which is also a multicolor runner. So we'll have that yellow ochre, the white, the grey, as well as some translucent green as well. Definitely some solid panel lining opportunities here. And in fact, we've actually got the shoulders here, so we can even see when I bump the camera stand uh, where some of those colour correcting stickers will go on. Now, you could possibly get away with it, but it depends how much patience you have. If you were to uh, not use the stickers and um, color correct yourself with some paint and things like that. So that was the E runner. We have a F runner in a single color, so that's in gray. Some very large pieces here, weapons and things like that. Detailing definitely has uh, made its presence known as well. So that's the F runner. For some reason, I thought I called it the E runner. It's the F runner. Um, Final few, final few things, SB13 translucent pink with the rounded edges and more importantly, because I always have problems, uh, there is a single black PVC cable. Do not lose this, as I have several times with different kits. Very embarrassing. Thank you very much for watching this unboxing video of the high grade one to 144 demi boating um, should be a fun little kit to build probably will fall down parts of the to build list um, but i do still quite like the look so time will tell um, but at some point in time time will definitely have to dictate that yes i do need to build these so um yeah and plus i think some of my transformers content is um, starting to wrap up so time reallocation will be good as i mentioned thank you very much for watching the video feel free to leave a like or comment subscribe if you enjoyed the content all of this does help support the channel and i do greatly appreciate it extra content can also be found on my instagram account same name as the channel and i will have links to the demi biting and other model kits for the witch from mercury over at hobby link japan also in the description with that being said stay safe and take care and i will catch you all in a future video see ya